friend, welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. I got here for you 2005 Toyota Prius. I was doing some services on it, which you can see on this channel. And while just going through the engine, right, that really quick look at everything, it's okay. I discovered that there was new drive belt installed very recently it's uh, looking really new but it's completely loose and there is a bad tension on it so in this video i welcome you to go with me if you want to see how to get to it and put the right tension on it here is the look under the hood of this 2005 prius and the drive belt i'm talking about is the one which is located right there as I said, I just rechecked if it's, you know, in good shape and tight, but it's completely loose. And I will show you how to get there and tighten it. And I will start with removing this clamp from that air intake pipe. To remove that clamp, you can either use Phillips screwdriver. I personally always prefer 10 millimeter socket to deal. Loosening that clamp gives me a nice chance to carefully remove that air intake pipe, right? And get it out of the way. And I put the light there for you so you can see the detail of that entire assembly. This extension will be moving that pulley up and down and it's a 12 millimeter socket. But first I will use the ratchet and 14 millimeter socket to loosen bolt on that pulley. Carefully rotating this 12 millimeter clockwise, I'm tightening that belt because the system is bringing the pulley towards to the me, therefore making that belt tighter. I need to recheck frequently, right? I don't want to over tight it. I'm checking below this mount. I cannot show you, there's no way. So I will do a few more turns, right? Well, not a turns, just very slight turns, right? I'm feeling that belt again. Because remember, it was just loose. It's not like I'm installing it brand new, right? There will be way more movement. But I'm just carefully feeling that belt. I don't want to over tight it, of course and put too much tension on those parts which are there. This sounds good to me. That should be enough. So now I will go back and use that 14 millimeter to tighten that bolt on that pulley, right? That needs to be tightened. <laughs> and that's basically end of that entire procedure. Once again, after I did that, I will again recheck that belt. It's not over tight, but this is way better than it was. It was way too loose. This is way better. And I have nicely installed that. And I, will, I know it will work perfectly again. To finish the whole job, I can carefully reinstall this intake pipe. Now, please don't be too hard pulling or tightening this clamp because you can crush this intake. I saw it this year on the different Toyota and it was completely crushed because somebody went too hard on this clamp, right? Well, I went to the dealer to check the price of that part of the airbox which needed to be replaced, right? And it was like $400, so I just helped that customer and had to fix it, right, and do the custom repair. So please, this cannot be over tight, right? Be careful with that. And don't put too much pressure on that plastic intake. I'm pretty sure how that happened. The technician was using power tool, right, either electric or small ratchet. Where you don't feel the resistance he was in hurry instead of feeling it with the hand 
and just crush that, you know. Unfortunately, that happens. Also, please take a note where that clamp is installed when I was removing it, right? Well, you can see in the beginning, it was, the, the clamp was incorrectly put in the wrong place. And my friend, that's it. It was another video about the Toyota maintenance, in this case, 2005 Prius. I hope you enjoy it. You maybe learned something. I was happy to share some tips from my experience working on those cars. Make sure you are subscribed. I have way more coming your way soon. Thanks for watching and have a great day.